I bought some red, white, and blue flowers for Pope Francis. And I'm waiting in line to get onto St. Peter's Square. The flowers went through security without a hitch. So now I'm only waiting for the Pope to arrive, hand him the flowers, mission accomplished. I can't tell you how excited I am. We managed to get the Dutch flowers on the Pope Mobile in front of the Pope. It's awesome. I'm here in one of the buildings of the Vatican next to the Villa della Conciliazione, and we're going to visit Monsignor Paul Tai, who used to work there. He's one of the people behind the Twitter account of the Pope, but he now works at the Office for Culture, and that's right there. I love this statue of St. John Paul II. Beautiful. While I'm waiting for Paul Tai to arrive, I have some time to go over my notes to see what else I have to film today. Here's the waiting room. I've known Paul Tai for many years now. I'm here with Monsignor Paul Tai, and he just wants to say hi. Hi, everybody. This is just um, delighted to have the visit here from Roderick at the Council for Culture. Well, that was great fun. This was his previous office. It's the uh, Pontifical Council for Social Communications. And this is the Pontifical Council for the New Evangelization. Oh, it's more cloudy than it was uh, earlier today. That's a shame. It's always great to uh, meet up with the Monsieur Paul Tai because he knows so many people and is always able to put you in contact with other people who are doing the same kind of work. Speaking of work, I still have to uh, film at least five sequences for my TV show about Pope Francis. But now that the pressure is off and I've been able to bring my flowers to Pope Francis and film it, I'm a little bit more relaxed. So I'll be smarter than yesterday and first get lunch and then work. That guy over there just recognized me as the Star Wars priest. That's a first. The spirit of Steve Jobs lives on, even in Rome. One of the things I love so much about Rome in springtime, flowers. <laughs> we are against war and tourist menu. I'm against war, but I do like the tourist menu. Time for lunch. And today it's lasagna. I'm drinking the official water of the Jubilee Year of Mercy. The second dish today is saltimbocca alla romana. It's a traditional dish and it literally means jumps into your mouth. Mm. So good. Getting the camera ready for the last filming session. I'm filming here in front of the title church of my bishop, Cardinal Ike. And this is my cameraman, the same one as yesterday. And of course, as soon as I want to start filming, the sun disappears. So I'm going to climb up this uh, road here, all the way to the top, and from there I should have a beautiful view of the city. From here I should have a nice view. It was a bit of a climb, but uh, another great location, don't you think? Beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful places in, in Rome. You have a magnificent view from, from up there. Check it out. Yeah. 
I found another great location. It's a wrap. I have finished filming everything I needed to film here in Rome. And I even got very close to the Pope. It was an amazing day. It's another beautiful evening in Rome. Look at that. I'm waiting for the bus to take me to the center of Rome. It's quite warm, 27 degrees Celsius. Just like on the internet, cats rule here in Rome. I'm missing a Pope here. How does this work? Whoa, there you go. Lots of traffic alongside the Tiber, as always. I'm at Piazza Venezia on my way to the Trevi Fountains. This is the Via del Corso. It is the big shopping street of Rome. Approaching the Trevi Fountain. Let's follow the crowds. And there it is. And it's been beautifully restored. It's gorgeous now. And of course, so many people. And this is a quiet day. I'm heading to a small restaurant to meet with Mountain Batorek and his family. According to him, they have great pasta. I'm here with the Batorek family and we're having a great time. What am I about to eat? You're eating carbonara from Abruzzi. It's my favorite restaurant in Rome. It's pasta, cheek meat, parmesan and and black pepper. Black pepper. Of course. The raw egg and cheek meat. <laughs> Weird. So this is detergent. <laughs> Mouthwash. Wow. So we had a wonderful evening here in Rome. My last evening. I'm heading back. So I had a couple of wonderful days here in Rome. My only regret is that I didn't get an ice cream. Oh well. And calorie wise it wouldn't have been a problem at all. That's going to be my last snap of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these adventures in Rome. And of course, 